Alrighty guys, update on the Chulix. So one thing about talking about when you're building your Chulix is do you want to go all out or you want to do a budget build? Now, if I'm going to do a budget build, I'm never going to pay what they're worth for a budget build. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go online, go on the marketplace and find those budget builds for a better deal. Because I don't want to pay, you know, top dollar for a budget build when I can just go out there and find people who build budget builds and they want to update to a newer budget build and I get it at a really good discount. Because even building budget bills, money stacks up pretty quickly, $700, $800, $900 on a budget build. You know what I mean? And so what I decided to do is um, I've got the uh, JLF uh, sand wall sticks. Now they just came in and then I got the sand wall uh, black with reds. Uh, so this I cannot go on a budget. I'm going to go new with Sanwa buttons because those are the ones that you're going to play and feel with. You can't go. You can't crap out on that, unfortunately. These were on uh, Amazon. These six, these buttons were like uh, 15 a pop. It Amazon prices are actually on par with, with what the other websites are, honestly. There's not that much of a difference. Go Amazon. There's no reason for you to buy, unfortunately, from unless you want to really get like specialty buttons that you can't get from Amazon. If you're using it, most of the standard ten wall stuff, just go Amazon. It pretty much is the same price. It doesn't change much. I like, think these sand wall sticks were about between twenty-five and thirty dollars a piece. So I mean, they come with the ball and all the wiring and everything. So and the Brooks fighting harnesses go for fifteen a pop off Amazon. That's pretty much what they go for anywhere else. So no need to do anything like that. Uh, Pico fighting boards go you, if you build them yourself, it's much cheaper, but you have to buy the pre made boards and stuff. But if you want to get a built Pico board, it's about 2025, 20, same as a Brooks Pi Zero. But Pico, I believe, is uh, superior to that board, honestly. The only, the only reason you don't want you want to get a Brooks is if you're, if you're going to play on console, honestly, for, for, for what I'm what I think. Now, back to the PC build. I spent $400 on this PC build. Um, it's running on a 1070 graphics card. It's running on a, a Ryzen 5 2600, like 3.3 gigahertz. I don't know the full specs of this thing. I just know this is a budget build that's somewhat, you know, not budget for when it when they first built it. 600 watt uh, thermal lake, thermal take power supply. It has all these uh, Corsair. Um, LED fans that are look really nice and it's five of them so you know the airflow is going real, around really well it does have a stock cooler on the AMD but honestly for what I'm playing I'm not going to be driving this thing now it does have one of these I think it's an Asus gaming Asus gaming boards which are actually pretty decent with 8 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabytes happy birthday <laughs> but regardless $400 is a really steal of a deal for this. It's an LG 32 inch, 165 hertz, 2K monitor. Same one that's on my other view, uh, Chulix. I guess the guy bought it on Black Friday and then um, he probably ended up upgrading to something more, you know? But regardless, this monitor is between $200 and $250 in today's market if you can find it because these were only for Black Friday. So I knew that was some of the value there and it's fully working, good, good shape. And then this, the graphics card alone is between like $130, $150. Plus, I mean, the LED um, RGB fans, those are going for like $50, $60 a pop for the full kit. I mean, the, the processor is probably $40, $50. The motherboard is another $50, $60. The power supply is probably under $180, bucks, something around there. And then the case, you know, the case, these cases don't, don't, don't really sell for cheap. Maybe 100, 150, depending on what kind of case you get. But my recommendation is if you're going to go budget. Just find and use budget, but be careful. You got to be, you got to do your research. You got to take your time. And when I bought this budget build, the guy actually just posted like two potato photos. <laughs> it looked like he was taking with a potato camera. Um, kind of sketchy at first, but he did list in this, in the, description he was including the monitor he didn't even have a picture of the monitor it was just like one of those generic pictures you get online of the monitor saying hey i'm including this with the price and it was originally 500 
and then he dropped it to 450 and nobody was still buying it. I reached out to him when he was selling it for 14 so hey, I'll give you four for it cash right now. And he's like, when can you meet? So I met him, a young kid, and we met up, and he told me everything worked, there was nothing wrong with it. Um, he just said that he was getting another build or whatever. Whatever his case may be, it doesn't really matter to me. You know, I'm getting this for $400. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, then I'm out 400, but at least the monitor, you know, I know it's good. So I might be out $200, you know, but maybe I could take parts and make another one work. You know what I mean? But regardless, it does work. So I lucked out a little bit on that, but I mean, that's what you got to do. If you're going to be doing a budget build, there's no need for you to go to Newegg or all these other stores and buy and create your budget when um, you can just buy it on the marketplace and you can get really good deals. That PC in there that I got for for that particular um, a Chulix, I didn't even state it, or maybe I did, but I got a really good deal on it. I paid three hundred or three fifty, I can't remember, for a twenty sixty computer build that's running on an eleventh gen i five, which is you know much more modern. It's running uh, you know six hundred watt power supply. It's running the twenty sixty GTX, which is overkill for a lot of these modern games, unless you're going four K. And then, um, you know, that kind of a price. I mean, the twenty sixty goes for two hundred dollars on eBay right now. That's crazy. And I paid three fifty for it with a case that I have stored away that I can use for another build later on down the road. So I mean. If you're going budget, there's no reason for you to be buying stuff brand new and new. I mean, you can, and I get it that you want to do it, but at least for me, I've been very fortunate to just buy budget builds that have already been created, that I've been working. Maybe I won't get the full life out of them, but for what I need, I think I'll be good. And don't, don't get me wrong, what really set this deal apart for me was this case. This is a cooler master case and it fits in the Chulix like a, like a glove. There's no more extra space, no more. It just fits in there perfectly. And I know there's a guy on, on, on YouTube. He linked my video. He's a great guy. He did a really top-notch build for his. Like, he went overkill. Um, and, you know, he got a case. And I'll say that this case would probably be better for... for for what he's doing because he's running a 3080 build and those tend to run a lot hotter i believe and he put it in a small case <laughs> i think he would highly benefit from putting it in a case like this for a 3080 build this thing has holes everywhere everywhere and then there's tons of fans you can put on this sucker so you can cool this thing really, really good and have really good ventilation while it's sitting in an enclosed metal box. So I think this is the way to go if you're gonna get a Chulix. Get this Cooler Master case. I don't have the name of it now. I'll probably link it later on down the road. But just doing a quick little video here about when you're building your Chulix, what to think out, what to look out for, honestly, because there's I know the possibilities are endless when you're building these, but I mean, if, if, if you're a cheapo like me, this is a smart way to do it. You guys have a good one.